Earth, the planet we call our home. From deserts to snowy mountains, as surely as the seasons change, through the passage of time, every inch of our world is, as it has always been, teeming with life, with creatures large and small. Join us in celebrating the mighty wilderness in Wild About. Tall grass, windswept desert, tropical jungle, rolling hills, stormy seas, anywhere warm, anywhere safe, anywhere you won't think to look, something is hiding, hunting. Equally feared and hated, as it is worshipped and adored. There exists nothing like it. A predator. A cold-blooded hunter. An icon. One of the most prolific carnivores on the planet, snakes exist on every continent except Antarctica. On every major landmass, across the Pacific and Indian Ocean, and in enormous numbers, with more than 20 families and 3,400 species. Snakes come in sizes as small as the thread snake at a decimeter long to the reticulated python at five times the length of a grown man. Their prey range from insects and rodents, to buffalo and alligators, even other snakes. They evolved from lizards during the mid-Cretaceous period, more than 100 million years ago. Blooming after the death of the dinosaurs as the dominant reptile species. Strictly carnivorous. Snakes can be venomous or constricting or just eat their prey alive. With venomous snakes relying on a single sustained bite to deliver their venom, after which they wait until their prey has succumbed before feeding. While constricting snakes such as pythons and boas use their powerful muscles to crush the victim by winding themselves around it, cutting off blood flow and oxygen, taking down prey as big as sheep and buffalo. While most snakes focus on smaller prey, such as rats and mice, swallowing them whole while they're still alive. Snakes have no visible arms or legs. Instead, having between two to 400 vertebrae, each with prominent projections for powerful muscle attachment points, allowing them locomotion without limbs. Snakes make their way slithering along the ground, up along the treetops. Most move by lateral undulation, moving their bodies alternately left and right, resulting in distinctive wave-like movements. Though the movements appear rapid, this form of locomotion is fairly slow. Other snakes move by sidewinding, such as vipers, where the body moves in segments lifting and pushing, resulting in a rolling motion at a much lower energy cost for the snake when push points are absent. Due to lack of irregularities in the surface, such as sand dunes and mud, 
and there's not enough space for side winding. Snakes use concertina locomotion, where the snake braces its tail portion while extending its head and neck forward at great cost of effort and very slow forward movement. Pythons and boas can also use rectilinear motion, slowly lifting and shifting its individual scales without significantly moving its ribs, resulting in ripple motions across the skin. This type of locomotion is notably subtle and used primarily for slowly stalking prey. Tree snakes use combinations of all types of movement, with some snakes of Southeast Asia having an additional form of locomotion, spreading their ribs out, launching themselves from branch tips, gliding through the air for hundreds of feet, even being able to turn midair. To accommodate their slim down form. The internal organs of a snake are ordered front to back as opposed to side to side. With most snakes only having one functional lung. The strongest of their senses is their sense of smell. Using a forked tongue, the snake collects airborne particles bringing them into the mouth for examination. And what is called Jacobson's organ, permitting them to simultaneously taste and smell their surroundings, even giving them a sense of specific direction of the scent. Because of this, snakes keep their tongues in constant motion, constantly sampling everything around them to determine the presence of nearby predators or prey. The eyesight of snakes vary considerably, with some breeds having sharp binocular vision, and others barely able to distinguish light from dark. The common ground being their acute response to movements, sudden and slow. Snakes are also highly sensitive to air and ground vibrations, easily sensing any nearby animals. Some snakes, like pythons, pit vipers, and some boas, even have infrared sensitive receptors, enabling them to sense the heat signatures given off by warm-blooded animals, and deep grooves on or around their snout. thanks to their uniquely flexible two-part divided lower jaw. A snake can expand its mouth to swallow a large prey whole. Contrary to popular belief, the snake's jaw doesn't dislocate. As much as the whole skull will bend and divide at numerous points, allowing the snake to swallow prey far larger than its own head, even large mammals. Occasionally, even humans. Contrary to common perception, the skin texture of a snake is commonly dry and smooth as opposed to slimy. With the entire length of the snake's body covered in scales of varying sizes and textures. Even with eyes covered by transparent scales to protect it, Unlike movable eyelids in other animals, the appearance and quantity of scales is often used to distinguish different species, with the distinctive patterns of scales often directly corresponding to a snake's internal anatomy. All snakes shed their skin at different stages of life. The process is called molting, and involves complete shedding of the entire outer layer of skin revealing a new, fresh layer of scales underneath, akin to turning a sock inside out. This helps cleaning the snake of parasites. 
Prior to molting, the snake seeks out a secluded spot. The outer skin turns dry and dull. With the eyes turning cloudy. As the inner surface of the old skin liquefies, separating from the newer skin underneath. At first, the skin cracks at the mouth and head, allowing the snake to wiggle out of the opening slowly. The old skin rolling off inside out. This process occurs between one to four times a year. Cold blooded. Snakes are dependent on the surrounding air or water temperature to remain physically active. Once the temperature drops at night, the snake turns dormant. With snakes in colder climate entering a state of hibernation over the winter months. As a result, temperature greatly affects digestion. Following feeding, snakes also become dormant while the process of digestion takes place, especially after consuming a large prey. With many species only feeding sporadically, leading the entire length of the snake's intestine to enter a reduced state to conserve energy. In nearly all snake breeds, the male snake is in constant search of a mate. Once a female is found, mating can occur within any time of the year or the snake's life cycle. All snakes use some form of internal fertilization for procreation. This is achieved by a pair of forked hemipenes normally inverted within the male's body. They are everted during copulation by use of erectile tissue. Mating is often brief and repeated. Alternating the hemipenis used and with some snakes preceded by ritual combat among the males to determine which snake is granted rights to mate with an available female. Some breeds of snake appear polygynous, where a male mates with multiple females, whereas other species are strictly polyandrous, with the female courted by and mating with several males at once. Most snakes lay eggs often abandoning them from that point on, covered in soft shells. The young can easily push themselves out of the eggs. Some snakes, like pythons and the king cobra, guard the eggs until hatching, even attempt to warm the eggs by vibration to aid in incubation. Some snakes, however, keep the eggs inside their bodies until shortly before hatching. With others, such as the boa constrictor, giving live birth. After birth or hatching, young snakes are left to their own devices.
many falling prey to predators such as birds, cats, and other snakes. Though ordinarily not a threat to humans, venomous snakes can attack when threatened, often happening to farmers, hunters, and fishermen, who either step on a snake or approach too closely. With many snake breeds giving fair warning to any who dare threaten it, such as the rattlesnake's distinctive sound, the cobra's long cervical ribs that expand to form a hood, making it appear much larger than it is, or other snakes that commonly hiss at anyone approaching. When they strike, long hollow fangs or otherwise specialized teeth inject their victim with venomous saliva, making up a quarter of all known snakes. The venom of venomous snakes can vary wildly in effect, as they do not form a single group within the snake family, some being neurotoxins affecting the brain and nervous system, being either paralytic, as with the mambas or the king cobra, or cause tetany, which can lead to death, as with some rattlesnakes. Others are cytotoxins, affecting blood and cardiovascular systems and cellular structure. With the venom of the Japanese habu, breaking down cell membranes. Or as with most vipers, coagulating the victim's blood. Or as with the venom of some cobras, effectively paralyzing the victim's heart muscles. with often the best and sometimes only treatment being specifically developed anti-venoms. The bite of non-venomous snakes is usually harmless by contrast. With their teeth designed for grabbing and holding, as opposed to tearing and puncturing their prey. Posing no threat to larger animals or humans. While larger constricting snakes, such as the African rock python and the reticulated python, have killed and reportedly eaten human prey on more than one occasion. Though this is exceptionally rare due to the snake preferring other, often larger, animals for their prey, with the green anaconda notably never having been reported to kill a human, despite widespread fear of the animal. The words snake and serpent both come from the Proto-Indo-European term for to creep or crawl. In Judeo-Christian mythology, snakes have long been depicted as evil or duplicitous. With their slow, slithering movements and forked tongue appearing as emblematic of malice and deception. Described in the story of Genesis as the one evil in the Garden of Eden, tempting Adam and Eve with the forbidden fruit. Later on, being a symbol for Satan himself. As a result, the word snake itself is now commonly used as an insult. While in Hindu culture, the snake is worshipped, belonging to a class of serpent deities known as Nagas, celebrated yearly in festivals across the country. 
In ancient Egypt, the king cobra was also worshipped as a deity, such as Wajet, protector and patron of the country and its pharaohs, or Renenutet, goddess of nourishment and harvest. as well as in Mesoamerican culture, where the snake was considered as important of a deity as the jaguar, being hailed as a portal between two worlds. Often linked to myths of a great flood as the originator, Similarly, Norse culture commonly depicted a cosmic snake, the world serpent, enveloping the world. And Ouroboros, swallowing his own tail to keep the world from ending, becoming a symbol for immortality and alchemy in the process. While in Greek mythology, the snake took on dual roles, with many stories featuring snakes as associated with deadly foes such as Medusa, as well as being a symbol for medicine, thanks to their periodic molting signifying renewal and healing, a symbol that survives today. Today, snakes are often kept as pets, particularly smaller constricting snakes, as they require minimal space and maintenance, with only infrequent feedings once every one to two weeks. And long lifespan, sometimes over 40 years given proper care, though often more dubious dealers have been known to sell endangered species, or snakes that grow too large to maintain, leading to many large constricting snakes being needlessly killed or set free in foreign environments. Many of the larger constricting snakes are today endangered due to severe deforestation and encroaching human settlements. Some cultures also frequently cook and consume snakes as a delicacy, with snake blood consumed in some Asian countries as an aphrodisiac. Bodies of snakes commonly steeped in alcohol to produce snake wine popular beverage in China, considered to have curative properties, with only a handful of snakes potentially dangerous to humans, and most targeting rodents and pests. It seems their negative reputation today is unearned, attributed more to their strange limbless appearance, common misconceptions and superstition rather than their nature. As one of the most successful and prolific predators across the globe.